welcome to Summer Sparkling Good Time. How you doing, y'all? How you doing? So today I'm just going to do a quick sash video. Well, sash video and how am I storing my budget friendly kits or my smaller kits or etc. like that. I just realized I don't have something over here. Hold one second. Because technically this this and these should be over in this pile of crazy. Hold on. I have to bring more stuff to the pile of crazy. Oh, okay. So, so this is from my smaller, like 20 by 30 less, that kind of stuff. The, the smaller stuff. So, I only have one whip from my budget kit, which is this stock image of the giraffe. I know this is a stock image because I actually love this image so much. I have it on... I had it on the calendar, a planner. I had it on notebooks. I've had it on like three or four notebooks. So I know this is a stock image. It's one of my favorites. I, and so when I saw this diamond painting, I bought it, I believe, off Amazon. So that's one to get it up. I've been working on it. I was working on this when I had COVID. But it's been sitting in a drawer, and you, so you can, let me see if I can show you. It was sitting in a drawer because I haven't dealt with it since April. And my drills are popping and moving. So I had to fix that. So, but I haven't worked on it since I brought the channel back. I should probably just finish that. And then, oh, we're, we are not, we are not to focus. I just bought this one from Make Market. So I thought I'll show you my, how I do this by using this one. Um, so when I get these budget kits, I typically put, if the drills, if I open them, they go in a bag like this one. So this one says the paper quilling special, right? Um, other than that, I just write on them, Gnome, Home of the Brave, whatever will tell me what kit it is, so I don't have to be searching for no, I don't want to be searching for nothing. And they all go in this bag, what is this one, set of uh, four sunflowers, like that, and I was going to take them out of this, so these are all them, but this bag I got for like 96 cents, I think, on Timu, and it collapses, and I can fold it in on itself if I want to. So all the drills for all my budget kits are in this strike bag. Now, as far as canvases, somewhere you sit down and you don't know if you can even see what you're doing. I think we're good. Maybe a little closer. Right there. Okay. So this is the Make Market kit, the gumball machine. Does it have a name name? Oh, here's the box. Um, it, it, it does not say, oh, I hit the thing. I do not see like a specific, oh, this is Gumballs. Here's the name back here. Um, so I just picked it up because it was on clearance for $5. So I have these Oliga clear book. It says 30 pockets. They're the A3 size. I got a set of four. And this this is where I store my budget kits. So I have this one was part of a set um, from Amazon. I don't remember what. It's just an elephant with the baby elephant. Um, this is my fall, like the uh, different geometric shaped pumpkins. This is a pumpkin in a barrel with two birds, I guess. Um, this is that paper quilling thing I wanted to try and I haven't done it from. So I'm pretty sure this was Amazon. This was Amazon. This is Timu. This is Timu. This is uh, the gnome pool party, what I called it. Um, and these are 30 by 40s, um, mostly. Yeah, all 30 by 40s. And then moving on, this is my gnome home of the brave. Summer to the lake. These are all Timu. Um, these are my set of four sunflowers. So I have this one and this one. So this one's like the red, yellow, and green. This one is more of like the turquoise and hot pink and yellow with the heart. Um, this one has the cowhide, turquoise, and yellow. And like, looks like this might be a paisley print here. And then this one is the more olives, autumn colors with the leopard print. And then this is my Aloha Kitty. He's pretty cute. Still Timu. This is my Hello Summer ice cream truck. 
Bill Timo. This is uh, Hello Summer Gnomes. This is my uh, 4th of July welcome sign gnome. Um, oh, and these two kits, they're... So this is my Valentine's gnome um, here. But here, this I have the same image of these three hot cocoa gnomes, but in two sizes. This is listed as a 20 by 30. This is a 30 by 40. And I was going to do these um, in the winter just to show you the difference of the quality when even if you're doing with budget kits on the sizing. Um, so that's a plan for that, and that's why they're together. And then I have this one, which is the succulent. So I am going to pop the gumball machine, maybe, right in here. And then I have another one of these portfolios. It came in a set of four. I gave one to Trinity, one to Ashley, and I kept two. So I have another one where my completed budget or smaller kits are supposed to live. Um, so well, there's that. Then uh, since now these are budget friendly, but I'm also talking like small. This book gets really heavy without drills on it, so I can only imagine. And then I have my small paint gym set. This is the rainbow edition. My kids stole my houseplant edition. Uh, I believe that is at Deanna's house. Uh, her and Trin have it. And this one is the rainbow edition. They have started this one. Um, we have the eye started. This one's not started. There's stickers. Um, I think Sierra from Texas, one of the girls' friends, did that one. So then there's the shooting star, the flowers, the mermaid, the letter with the balloons, I think, the hat, the, the rabbit in the hat, the castle, the um, whale with balloons, the unicorn, rainbow, another unicorn that says magic, a little dragon, a little fairy on the moon, a little princess, and a little love with the halo. Don't ask me. I didn't decide them. I just bought it. I really want the retro kit. And I was looking at the new, uh, what are they, the Dazzlers from Diamond Art Club. And um, I'm tempted to get one of those. I mean, they're $18 for a set of six. Um, I'm supposed to be on a no buy, guys. I'm supposed to be on a no buy, and I already broke it yesterday. So we'll see. So that's, I thought my paint gem, since it's smaller, I'd throw in this, this one. And then I have these two other budget kits that I have zero idea if they are licensed, unlicensed, no idea. Um, what does it say on this thing? I think they are licensed because it says copyright Thor slash art licensing.com. So I think these are safe. Woo! Hallelujah. Okay, um, I almost got rid of them because I thought they were unlicensed. I don't see one on this one, but I will show you these real quick. So this one, I don't know, Day's Dream Diamond Painting, okay, Day's Dream Diamond Painting, that's where I got these. So this is like a little island cove. Where have I just put the box out? I just had it. So, upside down. So, it's like a, what's his name? You know, the, the Robinson family who lived in the treehouse, like one of those little treehouse cottages over here. The ocean here, there's some cliffs. We've got a palm tree going on right here. With some like totem poles, these thingies. Are they totem poles on the island culture? What do they call them? I don't know. So it's just a ocean landscape. Oh, a uh, beach landscape, I guess. And then the drills are individually wrapped. Now that I saw that it said license, <laughs> I am not afraid to show or do that one. So from the same company, I also got. I'm going to have to roll this one back. 
there, this is a um, budget ish friendly. It's, so it's not as like Timu prices, but it's not Cam Diamond Painting level prices. You know, it's like or Diamond Art Club or Jumbo Designs. It's of it's a it's a halfway point. <laughs> And so this is like uh, the the rainy night in New Orleans. Let me see what you see. So yeah, it's like a rainy night in New Orleans. And I like the street lights. There's one here, one here. I like it. So, but I don't know if you're seeing it. This is a whole lot of line blocking. I'm not sure. So we'll see. But so these are, this is my budget stash. So in my budget stash, and I'm not really saying that paint gems are a budget, but they're, they're stored with my little stuff. <laughs> that makes any sense at all. They're stored with my little stuff. That, this is this one. Um, so let me do you a quick head count on my, okay, we're not going to fight this. So I have the two there, right, that are budget, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23. So I have 23 budget kits. And then this was just in here because it was in the small stuff. So my budget stash, I'm going to put him back in the front where he was supposed to stay so he, no more of his drills come out. I'm a little bit worried i got to fix him. I'm going to have to fix him. But I just have always loved this image. And I know it's a stock image because I bought it on tons and tons of things. Okay, you can live there so I face it. So those are my 23 budget kits plus my paint gems because it's small. And the budget kits, the, the larger size, I only have the two, and that's from Day's Dream. And I think they just have a Facebook. I don't remember a website, but if I find one, I'll show it to you. And I'm not saying they're licensed or not licensed. I have no idea. But that one said copyright Thor art licensing, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we're good. So those are my budget kits. Thank you for watching so much. Um, I said budget small kit. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> um, so this, I'm putting this clip in in the middle. I forgot that I have these stickers from the uh, budget. I have this birthday card budget. Care Bear stickers budget. Mario stickers budget. Uh, butterflies. These are just butterflies. Um, stickers budget. And Valentine's Day gnomes budget. And then this kit I am never going to do. I just keep this kit um, because it shows that size does matter. This is supposed to say just keep swimming. And this is supposed to be an octopus and a turtle and fish. And you can't make it out. I mean, it's better on camera. It's atrocious. Like, this looks like an evil baby doll head to me. Um, but it's atrocious in um, person. Let's see if I can get close enough to zoom. Zoom. I'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like, but it's awful. So this is 24. Then I brought this is from Dave's uh, Dream as well. This is called Sassy. Um, it's a 40 by 40, 25 colors. I forgot because it was too wide to fit in my book. And this is stored with filming stuff because it, it, it's different. So that's 25. And then if we're going to count, the, I have 25 budget kits. And then one, two, three, four, five, six budget specials. So there we go. Um, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind pooping my snoot, if you're new here, that means hit the like button. Quick, free, easy way to show uh, to support the channel. I appreciate it oh so very much. Also, feel free to comment. Um, I don't even know anything you want. Any emoji or a rainbow emoji? I'm not sure. Do they have a giraffe? I love this guy. Do they have a giraffe emoji. You made and do the giraffe. Um, as always, uh, feel free to share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. 
And as always, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, where am I at? Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I have my entire premium diamond painting kits all pulled out that I need to go film that video now, and it, it's atrocious. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I love y'all. Bye-bye.